We've all been paying attention to the Queen of Kings show with Rose Miller and Bottom Shelf Brett. And we know that interracial relationships, interracial marriages on YouTube is like the fastest, one of the fastest growing uh, channels in social media. You know, a lot of people like to tune in to see, uh, especially women, like to see black women with non-black men. Uh, we, we have a gender war going on where, where, where we're constantly verbally berating each other um, as 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 black men and black women so when black women get these uh these saviors these w men they go and prop this prop this man up and say hey i've arrived y'all and you can do better sisters out there leave those leave your men alone and come on over here with us so these channels blow up but rose miller you know what we're starting to see now is the same issues that she complained about with the brothers she having the same issue with the w man because we know that she propped him up as this guy that moved her to Hawaii, brought her a half a million dollar home. He got the range over. But then we found out that she was paying for the whole life. But we, we remember um, she went on to Tasha K and her and Tasha K had a conversation and Tasha K really laid into her. And it was something like this. You literally uh, put down black men to put up your white husband. Wait, wait, and if when you did still I do that? cuss him out, because your attitude, I'm going to be honest with you, is the reason why a lot of black men don't want to be up with us, right? You're giving that same attitude that black men complain about to a white man. You would probably prefer to be with a black man, and that's why you're angry. And I find that I among would not. I don't black men. It. Yeah, I don't uh, desire it. That, but you don't my desire it. Are open, so you're, you're dating white men by default. Because of how black men have treated you. I'm 29. I'm not ugly. I don't have I ain't a problem. I'm not saying nothing about you being ugly. I'm right, saying right, right. that. I know you're not. Black so I'm, man, saying, I'm 29. I'm not ugly. My options are available. Like, I'm not dating. Your, I'm going to be black. honest with you. You may not be ugly, but your attitude and how you gave your husband that business to the world is very ugly. So you can Absolutely. be beautiful. Of course, an and there are a we lot of beautiful. Listen, of there are a lot of beautiful black women that are on one thousand to ten. Uh -huh. They're one thousand, but they ugly and tainted on the inside based off of them not dealing with their own experiences. Black women have a problem thinking that men are supposed to save them. You save yourself. Once you save yourself, you will attract men from all races, just as I do. I could go into Africa. I could go in America. I could, I could go into Asia Same. and attract any type Same. of man. But for me to isolate my feelings Same. towards one race and I'm raising a black son. So Tasha K was holding her accountable. And she was doing something that a lot of our women today, they don't like accountability. You complained about the, the black man and the brothers and how we need to level up and do better. But you took that same attitude that a lot of us complain about with some of our sisters. And now you're doing that to a W man. And you're doing it before the world and recording it so everybody can see it. So now a lot of sisters can see what that looked like outside of themselves. And they say, that looked real ugly. And they turn around, babe, do I talk to you like that sometimes? Sometimes, baby, you do. But that's what it looks like. It looks real ugly, right? So now Tasha K is calling her out on that. She's calling her out on her attitude, right? But the second half of it, it gets real interesting, right? Tasha K calls her out on something else. Check this out. Never looking for a white man when I found him. I was actually with a Filipino guy. Actually, at the him. exact time. But you found him. He didn't find you. He found you. I was with you the Filipino time at the exact time. A Filipino man at the exact time that I got with my husband and a black man before that. So I wasn't looking for white men only. I got with one and now it is my preference. It wasn't before when I found him. Now it is my preference. So it's just preference. Like I don't I don't feel like it's like, oh, you're like stop dating completely. No, it's just my preference. Is your preference black men? My preference are all men. Oh, okay, mine too. And yeah, so I love but that I, you, and but, that's what I'm, I'm but here's the thing: I don't need to you. put down a black man to put up one. You literally oh. put down black men to put up your white husband, wait, wait, and if when you did still cuss him out. Because your attitude, I'm gonna be honest with you, is the reason why a lot of black men don't want to be up with us, right? You're giving that same attitude that black men complain about to a white man. And you're saying, oh, because he takes it, because he's more meek than a black man, because he appears stronger than a black man, then he must be better than a black man. It's no different than a black my man that lays up with Becky and says that, oh, black women are in. 
Not because of his race. My man you, is you better than honestly, any man of any race because he's my husband. But honestly, Tasha, what well, I want to say to you is... Go ahead. What I want to say to you is, like I said, this isn't about... When When did I bash? May you... Um, Girl, you bashing me. your videos all the time. You, I look at your comments. When, when, where's the when you example of me bash Of me. I can put... Go ahead. Girl, do you want me to pull the would you like to see the receipts of you I would like to see raising your white of, husband to piss off black men because black men did you if wrong. black men are pissed off tasha they need to do better so she goes and says that black men need to do better and to me tasha k was right i believe that her preference is a black man because if she if she had her knight in shining armor and he swept her off her feet you wouldn't even be making them kind of videos about brothers no more, knowing you raising black son, a, a, a black son. You wouldn't even, it, it, it wouldn't even, you would be somewhere in Hawaii living your life doing your thing. You wouldn't be pulling up statistics. None of that stuff matters anymore. You had, like, you actually have your husband. He's taking care of the two children that's not yours. I mean, that's not, excuse me. He's taking the two, the care of the two children that's not his. You got everything. You, you, you claim to be happy or are you? Because now we have... Like you, you gave us receipts. You, you showed us that you showed us that you are a hypocrite. And I'm gonna explain something to you about Brett after this. It's about your daughter. You you went to uh, Minnesota or whatever your baby mother is from, and you've been nothing but a deadbeat to your daughter. You knew your daughter. You knew where she was. You did not try at all whatsoever. Let's be honest about the fact that I'm the one that I'm the one that made you see. I'm the one that made you see your daughter. Let's be honest about the fact that when I met you, you was lying about that. The fact that you had a daughter. Let's be honest about the fact that you are a literal that how angry I got when I found out that you can't see that little girl. And I told you to go uh, and get a lawyer and go fight for your daughter. Literally pissed off that you wouldn't fight for your daughter. Let's be honest about the fact that you lie and say she was a one night stand. But your mother even told me that y'all was together. Together. let's be very honest so wait a minute so now you get with bottom shelf brett who you're claiming now is a deadbeat but you said that your black father, baby father was a deadbeat you you gave us this story of him sweeping you up your feet buying you all these things now when you're now when you're liquored up and you're upset he, he, he has a daughter he doesn't take care of. He doesn't see. He doesn't do all these things. But you online actually talking about your black baby father saying this, remember? So y'all know I don't usually do videos like this, but it's giving obsessed. It's giving clout chasing, honey. Y'all know I never exposed the name of my baby daddy, right? So now that I reach my 1 million subscribers, yes, a girl is famous or whatever, on youtube he's coming out the woodworks honey tell me why his page has been private for years now all of a sudden it's public and he's commenting hey i'm the baby daddy my name is adonis i'm the baby daddy i want a piece of the pie ciao he on there's all these blog posts about me now suddenly hate pages about me because the baby daddy telling people that he been trying to reach me. He can't find my address. And that's why I moved to Hawaii. Because I'm running from him. I know you mother lying. <laughs> and y'all wonder why. I, sw I had to. I switched total sign. I jumped shit, honey. After dealing with that shit, Yes. I jumped shit, if you know what I mean. Mm -mm. So the one thing that we noticed is she's having the same issues with with bottom shelf Brett that she was supposed to be having with the first baby father or the first husband. Guess what? He ain't there. So now we know that it has to be you. And I, I, I keep telling you guys, this woman is sick. She has all kinds of psychological issues, man. And a lot of times, man, these people... They, they can peep a weakness in the game and they exploit it. She come online, she know that there's thousands of women out there that's just like her. So she caters to that audience. The same way the Cynthia G's and all them Paris Milan's and all them do. They cater to an audience of her, her single women. 
and they just speak the language that they want to hear. And it's never uh, self-improvement. It's never, well, I'm going to prove and get me a husband, uh, um, live a happy life, do these things. No, it's just every day, if you check the content, every day is the same content of bashing. These brothers ain't nothing. You got to go do this. You got to go do that. And that, that's just the content. And a lot of brothers do the same thing. They peep the weakness in the game and they exploit it. They see a lot of disgruntled black men that's not able to get the women that they want, not able to sex the type of women. Um, they're uh, uh, socially awkward. So they cater to those type of men and tell them things that they want to hear. And the people, the women and the men in these these um, on these channels, they donate large, large amounts of money. And they gain big followings, but it never it never grows you anywhere. You find yourself over there five, six, seven years, and you never grow. You at the same space place that you was when you first started, because it was never to grow. It was always a quick grip. So when you see her, she she came out as this woman that was swept off her feet. But as soon as she got upset, the real Rose Miller came out, and the way that she talked to that black baby father is the same way she talking to that W man. It's just the W man. Bottom shelf bread is we're gonna stay there and take it. So we're gonna stay there and take it. I'm not allowing a woman to dress and talk to me like that. That's not happening. And and, and, and any man worth his salt, any man worth 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 um with any self respect would not allow a woman to talk to him like that. Let alone put it online before the world. And, and, and when you allegedly supposed to be doing all these things for this woman, that makes no sense. No man is gonna want to be with you. But like I said, she's 29. She, this is the same woman that was online saying that her mother allegedly uh, uh, had SCX with her brother, who's now unalived. So she has all kinds of issues. Father, her father has 16 kids. The father used to abuse the mom. So she's coming out of she's coming out of a whole house of dysfunction. But she's going online, and because she's never got any type of therapy or help. Man, she, you can see the dysfunction playing out. But I'm going to tell you, to a lot of our sisters out there, they like this channel. It's normal to them because this is just normal life. I keep trying to tell you we have normalized dysfunction in our community. You know, um, this is just normal. I've had sisters leave comments in the comment section. Well, that was just an argument. She just cussed out her husband. That was just an argument. No, that's not, an, that's not a normal argument. That's not okay. But in our community, we think that that's, that's just normal. That's how dysfunctional our community is. We've normalized this type of dysfunction. And, it, and to the point where we just think that, that it's okay. So you should, you, you should see some of the comments that, that's being left, man, in my comment section uh, when I do these type of videos. But I notice whenever I, when, whenever I would do videos going in on black men, a lot, not, a lot, not all, but a lot of you women that come over here got something to say, y'all don't leave no comments when I go in on black men. You don't say anything. That's why I call y'all hypocrites and I don't rock with the sisterhood because y'all fake and phony and you're traitors to the black community. The same way these brothers out here killing and destroying the community, they're traitors. You're all traitors to the black community. And Rose Miller is no different. And all her dysfunction is playing out and showing. So I'm going to cut this video uh, short here, man. If you made it this far in the video, hit that like button. Subscribe to Street Media TV. Leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think. And remember, I love y'all. To the next time. Peace.